They're rolling. It's happened, finally. Chad and I have been waiting on this for so long and the amount of stuff that we had to go through to get our parts and get this together. It's kind of why the video got filmed a little different than usual, but check this out. We have two caged rolling chassis and they are looking so good. We obviously got the feel suspension coilovers, only the best, paired with Wise Fab in the front. That is the winning combo right there, feel and Wise Fab. You cannot beat that. Got the ESR wheels. Chad's got his Cosmos wheels on his car. The subframes, we got powder coated locally here in uh, Hesperia. Daytech powder coating, they look so good. I mean, like this color complements the angle kit and the coilovers very well. And it'll be easy to see any messes that might happen and it's powder coat, so it wipes off easy. Got the top plates all cut out. Turned out pretty nice. So Chad's got his steering rack in. Uh, I'm still waiting on my steering rack and I don't know if we've gone over this in a video yet, so I'm just gonna talk about it. But the reason I don't have my steering rack in yet is because I'm going right-hand drive. You can see the diagonal bar is on what would normally be the passenger side. So since I'm going right-hand drive, I had to order a couple different racks and do some different stuff with steering. But look at the firewall. You can see that everything is symmetrical side to side. So when we saw that and we got these chassis, it was like, well, might as well go right-hand drive. Always wanted a right-hand drive car. Why not do it? So that's why you don't see a steering rack in this car, but Chad's got his. So on the back of the cars, you guys have already seen the winners mounted in the subframe, but now there's a winners in a subframe with Wise Fab. So obviously running Wise Fab in the rear. Tons of adjustability in these cars with these Wise Fab kits. Like every arm is adjustable and there's five. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. So tons of adjustability. We even have the ability to now adjust uh, anti-squat and bump steer, which is sick. But as you'll see in my car, uh, just a stock diff. And the reason for that, I'll probably go into in another video here soon. But yeah, so we got the stock diff sitting in my subframe. And we're also trying to help Gargistic uh, come up with some bushings for that. Gargistic is who made our subframe bushings. These things turned out so nice and they are now I believe these are on their site, but don't quote me on that. But I do believe that they are selling these on their site now for the E92, E82 chassis. And we're trying to help them develop some more stuff so that they can jump into this chassis. Right now they do a ton of E36. Uh, E30 is their, their like heritage, is where they start as E30, but they do E30, E36, E46. Now they're doing E92. So we're just trying to help them come up with more stuff like that. And that's another reason why the stock diff is in here so we can come up with some bushings. So not 100% on running that, but there is a chance and you guys will see that in a later video. But yeah, we are so stoked to have these cars on the ground. Uh, we believe we picked these chassis up in February, but it's been since then that these cars have been kind of rolling around on wheelboards and jacked up in the air just sitting here all the time. But now they are on the ground and it, they just look so good. We're so stoked on this. So just to go over a couple things, like I said, uh, that we, we had a few issues with putting stuff together that kind of held us back. And so this actually took quite a few days for us to get pieces put on the car. And it's because every time we go to put the next piece on, we'd be like, oh crap, this is wrong. Or, oh crap, we didn't know we needed that. And so we had to order a few things. But like I said, one thing that you see missing on mine is the steering rack. Um, there's little sleeves that go in the top of the knuckle right here that this, the coilover slides into and they look like this. So these are the wrong ones. They make a couple different versions. These are thicker. We needed the thinner of the two and our kits, for whatever reason, just didn't come with them. They were missing. So we had to get those. In the rear, we were missing the bottom coilover bolt which is that one right there. You can see it's a different color. We ended up having bolts that we can use. We have a giant pile of like BMW OEM bolts. But um, yeah, those were missing, so we were kind of thrown off there. Uh, and then if you come to the top of the coilover, you can see 
like that doesn't look right, right? So there's a bushing that goes in the chassis right here. And this is just loose and just kind of sitting there right now. So we got to get bushings. We, we didn't keep our stock ones and apparently you're supposed to reuse them. So we are going to order either some poly ones or there's ones that go to like a mono ball. So we'll end up putting those in there instead. But yeah, overall these things went together pretty smoothly other than those few things. We've got brand new bearings and hubs on all four corners. Those came from SCP Euro. Shout out SCP Euro for always having the best stuff. We've been so stoked to be working with companies like Feel, WiseFab. They make some of the best parts for these cars and just any car that you might be working on or that you're looking at drifting, Feel is the way to go. WiseFab makes the best angle kits, hands down. Great suspension parts. Everything has just been super, super nice. We're very excited on those. Got the ESR wheels. ESR uh, had a sale a while back. We went and picked up a bunch of these and just stoked. Like they make a great wheel and their new line of stuff that's coming out is very sick and we're gonna try to maybe figure out how to get our hands on some of those. Maybe look forward to that in a future video. Chad's been rocking Cosmos on his other car and so he's thinking about running him on this because he has a bunch of them. Just overall couldn't be asking to be working with better companies and better people. They've been coming through clutch on everything. This is, this is it, man. We're building the cars that we've always wanted to. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. I know it's a little shorter than normal and we kind of did it a little different. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was kind of a simpler video for us to film, especially with just kind of like being running around and like doing kind of crazy stuff. It wasn't something we just sat and shot in one day. So, but I think it came out pretty good. Hopefully you guys like it. Let us know in the comments what you guys think. And next video, you guys are gonna see some body stuff. So we have our body kits from Big Duck Club. We're gonna be fitting those to the cars. That should be the next couple videos. There might be something else in there before then, but you guys will look forward to that. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you guys wanna see more. Drop a comment, drop a like. It's always appreciated, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Thank you.